Hello, everybody. This is Jonathan Mottick with 1000 GM. I'm here with Grandmaster Barakobian, and we're taking a look at the GM Hollywood Norm event. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jonathan. We're looking at the games from the round seven of the GM Norm event, and here we have a matchup of GM Sorokin against GM Pacholum. GM versus GM matchup we have, and guess what? We have a French defense opening. The opening I've been playing for a very long time, over 30-some years. And we have the classical variation. Not too many Frenches we see in this event. Now, this is the uh, classical line here. And there's so many different ways black can play here. There is C takes D4, bishop C5 lines. There's bishop B7 here, castle. Then there is this A6 line with idea to play B5. Queen D2, A3, bishop B7, bishop D3, queen B6. Um, it's, if white he plays very precisely here, perhaps he's slightly better in these lines. But again, you have to know a lot of lot of theory. So he plays queen f2, rook c8, and now they get into this position. Some of these positions are strategically very difficult to play, and I think white got the better of it here. Yeah, once once you get this in. And it's going to be very difficult because you're always going to have a problem with uh, e6. That's why I don't play exactly like this because this f6 is such a big commitment. So, I, yeah, you have to be very careful when you take this d4, you know. And uh, sometimes it's just, you know, white is going to get the blockade on d4. So, I, I like the bishop b7 here. Bishop b7 would have been okay here too. So, here it looks like white got a nice advantage. Let's see how he managed to neutralize here. And I don't have it. And here you get the position where you're basically going to be passively defending for the rest of the game, okay? Zero winning chances, and you just passively have to defend, defend, and hopefully you make a draw here, okay? Not fun at all. C3. And yeah, you oftentimes just lose this position because it's just so difficult, you know, to, to just to be precise. Black is very solid, but on the other hand, uh, zero winning chances. He's trying to, yeah, perhaps maybe a4 at some point could be played. I would consider that idea. Maybe pawn on b4 and then a4, but it's 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 hard to win because you know, there's just uh, not too many weaknesses here. Just the e6 pawn. Lots of shuffling we see. King is coming to the queen side, hoping to make a difference. And now, wait a minute. Now he goes here and then he takes. And this is winning. What happened here? Queen b8. Bishop g6, yes. I oh, missed g5. Ay, 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 g5. g5 takes. He missed it. Now king c2. And basically, it's just this is the line. Check. Queen f3, winning the queen with queen h5. And if you go here, just king g2. You go here, just simply queen h5 and winning the material. Check. Check. Yep. Yeah, this definitely would have been a winning uh, position for him had he found this idea, okay? So he played, instead he played uh, the the wrong idea, king d2, king h8, b4, still winning. How did he, yeah, he, how did he mix this up? Let's see. Ah, now it's just going to be a lot of checks. Yeah, now it's just just checks all over. Yeah, he just he just allowed the opponent to check, and it just became difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game ended in a draw. We're actually right around here. There was the winning winning chance with the g5 here. Again, this opening you have to play precisely. Also putting the queen on b6. I'm not sure if you know. I like I actually like the setup with bishop here and queen on c7. Okay, so very solid game and opportunities for Sorokin, but. GM Bachelor managed to hold. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be back with more coverage for you. See you. Bye-bye.